Eight months ago, I met Tyler, a 20-year-old with movement and coordination problems that severely impacted the way that he could communicate. The motor impairments leave him unable to speak. During this meeting, it was evident his frustrations with the amount of effort required to say something as simple as hi using his speech generation device. Let's look at his current workflow, which he interacts with using a joystick due to these motor impairments. To say hi to his friend Simon, he needs to navigate to the greetings folder, which brings up a nested word board where he can then select the word hi. Using this nested structure, saying hi Simon requires a total of five selections, which may take up to a minute to complete. The average speaking rate is around 120 words per minute. On a good day, Tyler can communicate at a rate of 10 words per minute. Clearly, a problem exists, and not just for Tyler, but for one in 100 North Americans. The communication aid market is worth $4 billion and continues to grow, providing evidence for opportunity in this space. Our smart devices can recognize where we are, who is important to us, and what we like to do. So why can't speech generation devices do the same? Our solution, Reka, leverages hardware sensors, such as GPS and Bluetooth, as well as software data to extract information from the user and their environment to provide context-based vocabulary suggestions. Let's revisit Tyler, who is now at the movie theater, waiting for his friend, Simon. He's using Reka, which recognizes his location using GPS, as well as his preference for movies, superhero movies. So it automatically prioritizes and suggests these options to him on the interface. When his friend Simon arrives, Reka recognizes this using a Bluetooth beacon and automatically updates the suggestions to include relevant greetings. Now everything Tyler needs is located on one screen. Reka provides value to the user by doubling the rate of communication and providing dynamic vocabulary. It will be made available using a single purchase pricing model, which makes it eligible for funding through the assistive devices program. Users will be able to purchase through approved vendors like Grand River Hospital and Kids Ability, both of which we are currently partnered with. This will allow for 75% subsidization of the total cost. Our team of systems design engineering students have worked at prominent companies and research institutions. These experiences have provided us with the necessary background and tools to succeed in this market. We have validated the problem and the solution with over 15 stakeholders, including occupational therapists and speech language pathologists. We plan to use the 5K to conduct pilot testing on users who have already expressed interest in our product. This will allow us to refine our machine learning algorithm as well as our sensor reliability. We are Reka, and we are encouraging the flow of communication.